Hi, this is Derry Zangane. Now I'm going to talk to you about alerts, how to set alerts on the ZFS storage appliance. Uh, the place you go is configuration and then to the alerts sub tab. There's two types of alerts in the system. There are alert, thresh, alert actions and threshold alerts. Uh, you simply create one by clicking the plus on either of these. When you click it, uh, there's multiple categories of events that you can alert on. So you can alert on all events. Uh, these alert actions are primarily set for if there's either software, hardware issues, or just general uh, informational st status that you want information on, such as uh, success of replication, success of, of phone and home, uh, any sort of issues like that, um, cluster, things that happen within the cluster, uh, so on and so forth. So you can you know, get pretty custom on what you want to get events on. Uh, and then with those events, you can do many different actions. So you can do multiple actions, first of all. Uh, you can send an email. You can send an SNMP trap. You can send a syslog message. You can also, uh, the next four down here, resume and suspend data sets and worksheets. Those basically have to do with the analytics. So uh, you can resume a single data set, which is a single analytic probe that you want it to start recording or you want to stop recording, you could do that. Uh, same with a worksheet, which is a set of analytic probes. Uh, you could do the same there. And then finally, you can execute a workflow, which is basically a ECMA or JavaScript that lives on the appliance. So you can have some action kick off a workflow. And then we'll talk about that more when we get to thresholds. So threshold alerts, these are primarily based off of uh, analytics themselves. So here you can see here, I can monitor CPU utilization. If it exceeds 95% for, for at least five minutes, I could do those same sort of things, send me alerts. Um, there's also in here, besides the analytics, performance analytics, there's also capacity-based analytics. So tell me when um, in any storage hits 95%, you could also drill down into a specific pool down to a specific um, a pr project, as well as all the way down to an individual share. So I can pick this share, the GL2013. Uh, if it exceeds 95%, uh, I could go out and do any of these different actions like I talked about. You could even have a workflow, for instance, in this case, that uh, say you had a, a quota on here in the GL2013. Uh, when it hits 95%, you could have it go out, the workflow could go out and quickly add, say, 25%. So that would be pretty easy to do, a uh, little bit of scripting work, but not too hard to come up with some rules that would let you uh, automate things, automate provision, growing, uh, things like that uh, within the storage array, as well as doing other things, right? Uh, whatever it is you could pretty much dream of, you can do with workflows and the threshold reports. So that's it for reporting. Thank you so much for your time.